And we've come back to Dark and Random Mass Effect 3. Mm -hmm. Last Hello. time we, uh, you know, we changed the course of history, or the future, or whatever you want to call it. Been to the US. giant robot with a giant worm. Defeated a giant robot with a giant worm, yes. Settled that debate right there. And now we need to head to the Citadel, because apparently Counselor Udina is f fucking dirty. Who would have thought? A corrupt politician from Earth. Anyway, the first things first. Fucking no one. Yeah. First things first, Admiral Hackett. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise, this won't end well for the human race. Or any race. <laughs> That will actually change depending on your galactic readiness state, but you have to play multiplayer for that shit. Ah. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Heard not Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachunka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support as it is. We picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. What about the Rachni? What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if we didn't save, if we didn't save the queen in the in the first game, uh, the stand-in that would be here would actually backfire on us. Hmm. So yeah. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, There's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be We're not. and violent. <laughs> Mostly Vorchai here. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Darner Vosk is bringing his men, and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not going to jeopardize <laughs> the entire Solarium Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. Smart. You know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Or not, Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. <coughs> the Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Mm -hmm. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten. You remember the Yogg are like the one that was the old Shadow Broker. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Evroom. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight, though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Rip. Oh no, it's such a shame. No. <laughs> Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. 
News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. No Nothing shit. Yet, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Oh, I missed a couple of topics. Nothing more. God damn it! Commander Shepard, something you need to Strategy talk about. for war. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. Uh, hack it. I'm flat. <laughs> the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast <laughs> one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. It's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. So I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. How long can we keep that? As long as it takes. The reality is, Shepard, everything I'm doing is a delaying action for you. I'm buying us time, keeping us in the game, while you gather what we need for the crucible. So keep at it. That is, that is an interesting Nothing conversation more. to have with keep me air. Pack it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, for those who don't know, Robbie Zeflin we have that's known for breaking every game he touches, so when we say pulling a rope we just say... Literally mean breaking the game. In any yeah. way, shape, or form. Updated on the third fleet. Novaria has defected to Cerberus and is no longer supplying the Alliance. Third fleet's attempt to blockade the planet has been repelled. Mm. Novaria was where we fought uh, Liara's mother. Where he first encountered Arachni. Oh. Krogan Battle Masters. <laughs> good shit, good shit. That's uh, about a few extra forces. Er, not Rex, is worth 20 on his own. <laughs> nice. Plant Erdnot, other Krogan clans, Krogan mercs. Yeah, Novaria defecting, that would have reduced it. Sigma colonies overrun, that would have reduced it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be seeing that get reduced over time. Yep. Right. What's our objective this time? Garrus and Joker are up on the bridge. Oh my. Our current objective is the Citadel, but we're not heading that way yet. Let's see what these two are up to. Yeah. Maybe we can do some side questing and stuff. All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Um, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiking monster? Friendly fire. Oh, come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. <laughs> How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask me sorry for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterwards. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. <laughs> Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shooting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. <laughs> hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. 
Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. <laughs> I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got yep. the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well... Except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel, and then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if some oh, brother of his Reeve took over. It could happen. I know, it's a chance we have to take, but I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Let's hope our luck holds. Yeah. Commander? Aww. Yeah, you're a good agent, just for that. Oh. Also, didn't he just leave the deck? <laughs> And now he was just right back next to you again. Uh, he, no, he turned around and walked back onto the bridge. Ah, uh, okay. I misunderstood the angle, I guess. I guess we have to do other stuff. Jo Joker does have a line. Cerberus has attacked a comm facility on Onturum. I've updated the galaxy map. Fuckers. Uh, have a line about, um, needing a gun that fires Thresher Maws. <laughs> Wouldn't that be an idea for the next game? Yeah, and uh, left side, fourth from the bottom. Yeah. There it is. Ed is in the AI core. Let's see what she's doing down here. Yeah. Might as well check up on everyone after that whole ordeal. This room feels so much empty already. <laughs> what are you up to now? I am uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately 2 kilometers. Well, keep talking. Yeah, that's a bit of a difference. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Hello, Shepard. Okay. I guess that's all she had to say. I'm glad to see we have Garrus back. I wanted to help with his scars, but I think he actually likes them. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing to report. Yeah, not surprising there. It's Garrus. Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Paw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams, to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. Just to be safe. Mm-hmm. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but... It would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. 
I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many, to witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. The Reapers would have been here years ago if I didn't. I wish motivating everyone else had been as simple. Too bad we never found another Prothean beacon. Haunting the Council with visions of the Reapers might have saved us a few years. Well, anyone who lives through this war won't be short on nightmares. Let's talk later, Shepard. Yeah. Hey, got warp from her. Ooh. Nothing new here. What about over here? Normandy intercom log. Cockpit to port cargo. <coughs> Glyph, make a backup of this log. It provides an exem example of early protein interaction with synthetic intelligence. <coughs> Joker. I've got a question. Did AIs of your cycle ever form a society? The synthetics of my time were brutal, merciless. They are dead now. What does it matter? Well, yeah, I can't argue with that. But weren't any of them peaceful? Even a little bit? There was one that was famous. Our scientists wanted to understand the cosmic imperative. So they created a virtual civilization in a closed loop system. What no. Happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> they discovered how to create entertainment for one another. To simulate their pleasure centers. It was highly embarrassing. Soon they ignored us. And rather than chronicle their insipid existence, we crushed their civilization. Uh, wasn't that overkill? Uh, if they can learn satisfaction, they, then they can learn pleasure in killing you. Let that be a lesson. If the ED machine ever discovers its pleasure centers, then throw it at the airlock. I am often amazed by the wisdom of the Protheans. <laughs> okay, then. Apparently... Sex means violence. Increase. And I don't the think he refers specifically to sex. Pleasure, pleasure centers usually means that. Yeah, but he also mentioned the pleasure of killing and entertainment. Yeah, well. With, jo with Joker involved in the conversation? Probably. And yeah, wid uh, Widow being a uh, the Citadel and Omega being well, Omega seeing a bit mm. increase in a uh, traffic. Yeah, no shit. At your service. Mm -hmm. Let's continue our chat with everyone. Okay, he's got nothing for us. So it seems. You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not going to start growing scales or anything, right? <coughs> Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Don't get me wrong, it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. Hey. We're not going to start growing scales or anything, are we? <laughs> you found it. That's a bit of an upgrade. Mm. Oh, I guess you might say that. Mm-hmm. Uh... Where the fuck is... Oh, there it is. Indra. Let's lighten it a bit. Yeah, I just maxed it out. I'm not gonna quite max it out, but I'm gonna lighten it up. That's the main thing I wanted to do. Li make it lighter. I mean, it's doing more damage and stuff, but also yeah. be nice. But that bonus power recharge speed. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's nice. And it's always nice to have. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I actually messed up. This beats the hell out of reporting on the Milgram City Council. I don't think I've heard of Milgram. Which part is that again? Beckenstein. It's right next door to the Citadel. I'm a colony kid. Commander, got a minute? What do you want to know? You've just implemented a cure for the genophage. Millions of Krogan will start fighting the Reapers. What do you say to people who think humanity is starting another Rachni war and Krogan rebellions? It's easy to remember the worst of Krogan history, but you also need to remember the best. Meaning? The Krogan were heroes once, and they want to be heroes again. We're giving them that chance. Are you aware that Clan Erdnot is already petitioning the Council for an embassy and rights to a colony world? The Krogan are coming to the aid of a Council homeworld. That's more than a lot of species can say. I help them get the genophage cure. Anything more is between the Council and the Krogan. There it is, straight from Commander Shepard. Until tomorrow, this is Diana Allers. Good night and stay strong. Okay, I'll cut that together with the rest of the segment and send it to command for approval. Nice. That probably helps. Yeah, and every bit of reputation helps. That too. Well, that's it all day then. Well, how did you want to? You settling in, Javid? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? Ah. I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Pain. And the Krogan we met. Who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. I'm reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life? Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Yeah. Can only hope. Alright. Um. <laughs> Perhaps you should go and talk to her then. Maybe I should. Nobody's barking up my tree. If it works out, be sure to take the deal. 
Are we just not going to talk about... You know, no, let's not. Uh, are you sure she's not possessed? Adams would like to speak to you. Hey, what does Adams want? Commander, remember the problem I mentioned? About a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Daniels, Donnelly, Edie, and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. You see, the venting occurs when IES sinks are in a back cycle. At the same moment, the main core is at peak draw, such as from sustained kinetic. What Kenneth means to say is that we're pretty sure we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Sure. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. Well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we want every advantage we can get, right? I'll look for one next time we go to the Citadel. Thanks, Commander. Thank you for caring that we don't get vaporized. <laughs> Granted, as you said, odds are if that happens, we're going to lose the ship anyway. Yeah. Oh, really? <clears throat> er, not Rex. Making babies. <clears throat> Shepard, making babies again will be fun. As soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. <clears throat> you really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in the Kelphic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad. I run the show. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> Good old Rex. <clears throat> yep. From Solarian Command, Dalatras Linron. <clears throat> Commander, I am deeply disappointed by your actions on Tachunka. As I thought I made clear, curing the genophage will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat has passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the Genophage, and the Salarian Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I'm ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day not only for my people, but all of galactic civilization. Revenge! Rah. Looks at Rex. Revenge! Meanwhile, okay, meanwhile, hierarchy, Turian Hierarchy Command, from General Corinthus. Commander Shepard, when you first arrived on Manet, I had had a hard, I had a hard time seeing how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I'm impressed. You have brokered an alliance many thought impossible. Palavin might be saved after all. Nice. Alright, we got a quick side mission. So let's take a look at this side mission, shall we? Yeah! Which okay. one of them? Oh, we're gonna investigate a Prothean site. So let's oh, see nice. quick. Like we have like ten side missions right now. Just saying. Eh, about a few. Yeah. Well, this is telling us exactly where. Mm-hmm. Post garden. Huh? Battle of Beauty. Hmm. still getting marked. Yeah, give it a minute. It'll come. It'll come off the galaxy map pretty soon. Okay. See? Ah. 
Wait, that one says 50%. Hmm. Oh, hmm. There's anything we can do over here. Hmm. Evidently Maybe, not. Yeah. Novaria and a bunch of cunts that run it, siding with Cerberus. Yep. I guess the yellow icon indicates Cerberus then. The yellow and black icon, golden black icon that was right over that, that cluster? Yeah. Yeah. That's the Cerberus logo. Anyway, let's take a look at this comm hub. <laughs> in other mm. words, the moon is, and this world's moon is uh, in a decaying orbit. Oh boy. The sky is falling. Pretty much. Yeah, like this time, huh? It's just a side mission. Nothing important. Mm, fair enough. It's the plot missions in particular that are really worth bringing him along. Fair enough. We <laughs> have about a few points. Yeah, now what do I want to turret? <coughs> AP ammo or cryo AP? And then... Rocket or flamethrower? Rockets. <laughs> Rocket. <laughs> Max Carnage. Now that's a lot of damage. Oh boy, harsh weather. Yeah, it was not storming in the original version of this. Whoa! No! And I, Fuck! I didn't even manage to finish saying try not to die. Yeah. Well, at least the weather doesn't, you know, kill my shields like it did, did on Benning. Reload. 
Oh, they're underneath me. Well, they can take care of it. easier to just tell her to upload, upload all three and then like disable communications so they can track her. Mm. Probably. Hello Santorian. You're not golden so therefore you die. Where is the one? It's on the other side of the compound. Yeah, if it is been. Oh, there it is. So it only shows up at a certain distance, I guess. It goes a lot better if nobody tries to interrupt me with a bullet. Yeah, maybe. Kind of annoying that just like one grazing bullet just interrupts the whole thing. Bing! Shut up. You saw just as well as I did. Edie just said no. Fucking headshotted it as I was striking. Miss Shadow, come in. Miss Shadow, are you there? Must be afraid to break radio silence. We need the final coordinates. Grace, listen to me. Can't talk. They're way outside. I know you're scared. This is more than you signed up for, but I won't let you down. I promise. Shot that one out way too high. You. Hey, you hit Whoa, me. what was that? Ding! I mean, it counted because it tracked her body, right? <laughs> you saw it, just, I just slid across the ground, didn't you? I guess. Hi there. There's no way to save ammo. Shit. That looks like it was a lot of damage. No. That fucker was... It sounds like they are adding new units. Take time to first aid you. No, I'm just not doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I out of ammo or something? No, the game just decided to fuck you, you're changing weapon. Okay then.
I get the feeling that they're endless. Yeah, I get that feeling too. Deal with the one over there, or just throw out a turret. She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. She wants to help however she can. Good. We need all the help we can get. Hack it out. Yay! And so... That's that bit of... Well, let's go check on map. Run up and talk to them. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound. They're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. Commander. That's one way to put in. Maximum dynamic pressure is approaching. Throttle down for minimal resistance. Thanks, Mom. If that is how you categorize me, I will tell you to stop slouching. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Shepard. I don't think she's very good with sarcasm just yet. Yeah, she's trying. That or she's just... Come on, ...laying her down. You think we like just straight my I know, right? Let's see. Higher oh, command, boy. General Corinthus. <laughs> Word has reached me that you authorize research into the shield modulation devices that are being alpha tested on Paladin. Our fatality rates have dropped considerably, though we've had a few instances where the new tech burnt out too quickly. Despite this, command is impressed with the devices and will be ordering the new batch of modulators as soon as they are available. <clears throat> A word of warning. I've heard enough to know that these research to make that the research to make these upgrades would have been extremely unpopular with my people. We treat dead combatants honorably and elements of the research will displease the populace. Any soldier understands that we need any advantage that we can get, but the citizen population are another matter. Be careful. Yeah. Or not Bakara. <clears throat> I'm riding riding you from the Kelfic Valley onto Chunka. I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across the entire planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We're finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. Well, I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people. I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chunka and spreading the words no Krogan has heard for nearly 2,000 years. There is reason to hope. This I owe to you, Commander. This I will never forget. And something from Liara. Oh my. Shepard, I've been working on something I'd like to show you. Can we meet in your quarters when you have a moment? Okay. We'll take care of that later. Okay. But as it stands, we're oh, pushing. Yeah, was, we're pushing time, time as it is. So that's yeah. stuff to take care of. Next time. Yeah. Bye bye.